You built uh, one of the largest hotel and lodging companies in the world. The at biggest the time. in the world based on cash flow. But you ultimately sold it. I left, I kind of done everything I wanted to do. I'd launched and started W Hotels. I turned St. Regis into a brand. And I kind of wanted to go back to the private world. I was tired of being a public company CEO. So I left um, and went back to start with Capital Group. And then that business uh, took off and grew. So do you come up with the ideas for these new hotel concepts? Do you yeah, have that's experts my thing. to help you? Okay. No, I do that. So uh, what was the idea behind Baccarat I, I'm familiar with. So it was a luxury kind of brand. Yep. And Instant w brand recognition. And W was more hip. Yeah, brand. at the time, I was friends with Ian Schrager, and he'd done these hotels, but what, the Mondrian, the Delano. But they were one-offs, and I thought we could do a branded boutique, which nobody thought you could do. The first one was here in New York. It opened in uh, 1998, I think it was. And um, it's the W on Lex behind the Waldorf. Um, and the analysts from Prudential Securities, I'll never forget this, were walking through the lobby, because what are you going to do when W doesn't work? And W worked, uh, it, was, it was cool, but not ultra cool. It was comfortable though, it was supposed to be comfortable and, there was, and I outsourced restaurants to real restaurateurs offending the entire hotel industry.